Hey y'all, I Rick Scout here, and this is how I add face on video guest to my ATEM Mini Pro live stream. Now there's my ATEM Mini Pro over there, and it's connected by way of Ethernet to the internet. So it's controlling the live stream connection to YouTube. Over here I have my laptop in front of my studio set, and I've got the software interface for my ATEM Mini Pro. Uh, this cable right here is a cable that's running between my MacBook Pro and HDMI input number two on the back of the ATEM Mini Pro. So if you trace this over here, this is running into there, HDMI input number two. And then if you look at my studio monitor, live view, you can see here, camera one is my virtual set, which is right over there. That's where I'm sitting, my virtual set. Camera two, is my laptop. So it's that cable that's running from my MacBook Pro into uh, input number two on the ATEM Mini Pro. So think of camera number two as a secondary computer monitor. So that, that'll help this to make more sense as I explain it. So let's go back over to my computer here. And what we're gonna do is use conf video conferencing software. Now there's a bunch of options. You know, there's Uber Conference, there's Skype, there's there's a go to meeting, there's Zoom, there's, you know, the list goes on. I use Uber Conference because I found it to be the easiest. So what I'm going to do, you can see now I'm in what's called multi-view. You can see all those different windows there. Within my ATEM software control, I'm going to go up to the top where it says output, and I'm going to select camera two. Now when I select camera two, I see camera two full screen. So in essence, what I've done, this cable going into HDMI 2 on my ATEM Mini Pro then feeds into my, uh, well, it doesn't feed in, it's going through the output to my studio monitor. So what you're seeing now on my studio monitor is, in essence, monitor 2. So if you don't have your monitor orientation correct, you know, after you plug in your, your, uh, your, your monitor, whatever you're in my case i'm using thunderbolt 3 which is usb-c so you can find this cable linked within this video's description so it's just a usb-c to hdmi cable so in essence it's instead of plugging into a monitor it's plugging into hdmi port 2 on that but because atem mini pro has output it still functions like a monitor you can see it over there so so think of it this way what you're going to want to do after you've selected camera two here, now you can see that full screen. Open your uh, video conferencing software. In my case, it's Uber Conference. So I'm going to open Uber Conference. And then what you're going to do is drag your Uber Conference over to your other monitor. And then after you drag it, and it, that's why it was important to make this full screen because you can see the details to be able to mouse click and then click the full screen option. Now you've got your video conferencing software full screen. Just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna bring this back over to our laptop screen so I can show you close up in a necessary setting. Necessary, rather. So this is, of course, Uber Conference. Your settings may differ if you're using, you know, GoToMeeting or something. In this case, I go change my device settings and this is very important. You can see here, it says speakers. That's a Bluetooth speaker I've got. I don't want to use that. I want to use BMD, which stands for Blackmagic Design HDMI Display Port. So the speakers are that. The microphone, that doesn't matter. You're gonna, you're gonna uh, well, actually it does matter. I, I stand corrected. So if I plug in my AirPods into my ear, um, well, see, this, this is where it gets confusing. So don't, don't worry about your microphone setting on this. All that you need to worry about on your, on your computer is the speakers. Make sure it's that Blackmagic Design HDMI. So once you've done that, drag your video software back over to your, to your large monitor, your studio monitor, and then click the little green thing to maximize it. So see, now if we go over here, um, 
when someone joins the live show, them speaking is going to use the Blackmagic HDMI as a, uh, as a speaker. And that's important because what that's going to do is that's going to stream what they're saying out to your YouTube or your Facebook live stream. Now, this is where it gets a little bit confusing. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, is and, and again, this, this is, it's very simple once you've done it the first time. So within your, uh, within your ATM software control, now you can, now that you've got your, your uh, video conferencing software full screen, now you can go into output and go back to multi-view. So now you can see everything. And you can see right now on this, so my preview is me sitting in my studio set. Program is what your viewers are seeing. So at this point in time, nobody's seeing camera two, which is your, which contains your video uh, participants. So a few things you want to do here. We're going to go back over to ATM control software. The first thing we want to do is go to the audio tab within ATM control software. Camera one that you can see right there, that's me. I want to keep that to own, always own. The only audio that I want the YouTube viewers to, to hear from me is this audio coming right there. So that's, that's the only audio that I want them to hear from me. Camera number two, which is right here, which there's currently no audio because guests haven't joined, you're going to want to put that to uh, you're going to want to put that to AFV. So when your guests are speaking, and you're on that, uh, you know you've got your video guest. People will be able to hear them. But say you bounce out to somewhere else. Well, actually, no. Let's just put it to own. So whenever you've got video guest, people are always going to hear your mic, which is my mic, and people are always going to hear your video guest, which, you know, they're talking maybe through a smartphone or a, or a laptop with a webcam, whatever. So now you go back to Switcher, and once you're in Switcher, so you can see now, if you look at my screen again, you just see me at my talk show set in the top right, which is still me at the talk show, show set. Go here to where it says Program, and select Camera 2. Now, you can see in the top right, Program being a representation of what your YouTube or Facebook viewers are seeing. So program is now my Uber conference. You know, it could be Uber conference, it could be Skype, it could be whatever you're using to bring in your live guest. And since you've got BMD, Blackmagic Design HDMI, as the speakers, when your guests are speaking, your YouTube audience, your Facebook live audience, they're going to hear your guest. Your microphone, your microphone, actually, you will uh, you will want to mute that within within this portion of uh, of Uber conference, or whatever you're using. Because what you're going to do now is a final step. So once people can see and hear your guest, what do you do so you don't have you know, wonky feedback and, and all that stuff. It's actually really simple. So get you wired earbuds or, in my case, wireless earbuds. So these are my AirPods, and I'm going to use these with the iPhone that I'm filming this video with. So as a final step, what I do is log into Uber Conference using my iPhone, I don't bother with turning the camera on within the Uber Conference app, but I do turn on the uh, the uh, the earbud. So that way I'm able to see and hear my video participant guest in real time, and they're able to hear me in real time. However, since the setting for 
my Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro, all that it's doing with Uber Conference is the uh, audio out, the speakers, as the Blackmagic Design HDMI, all that's doing is putting all of the, um, you know, the audio that, uh, uh, that the viewers are hearing out through that. But when viewers are hearing, it, this is where it gets confusing, and this is why a lot of people were, were confused by this. But when the viewers are hearing my viewers, and the viewers are also hearing me being the host, when they're hearing me as the host, they're hearing me through my lavalier mic. My mic that I have plugged into my camera one that's always on. When I'm conversing with the people that are connected face on video as guests, those guests are hearing me through my AirPods that are connected to my smartphone. I am hearing those guests through my AirPods that are connected through my smartphone. So I've got everything else muted except for my smartphone so that I can hear my guest. And there's no echo or I'm listening through a, you know, a field monitor speaker or anything like that. But again, on the studio monitor, I call it a field monitor, studio monitor, the speaker output on it must be your Blackmagic Design HDMI. Because if it's not, your viewers aren't gonna be able to hear your guest on your on your live YouTube or Facebook live shows. So again, just to recap, what you want to do, your Blackmagic A10 Mini Pro is connected to the to the live stream by way of uh, you know by way of uh, of network connection. Your camera, your face on video camera is connected to in my case HDMI one, and I have my microphone connected to that camera. So that's how. The live stream's hearing me and seeing me as that camera. HDMI 2 is controlled by this. It's just a, it's in my case for MacBook Pro, it's a USB-C or Thunderbolt 3, whatever you want to call it. USB-C to Thunderbolt 3 cable that turns into HDMI and connects to HDMI port 2. So think of that as an extended desktop. You know, that's, that's desktop monitor 2 of 2. You know, I've got my laptop screen, and then that's my other one. Except in this case, instead of using a monitor, it's connected to a Tim Mini Pro, which then outputs to a studio monitor to make things more confusing. So, you know, and of course, once you've put, once you've dragged your uh, Uber conference to, to where you can see it, and, and my screen timed out, that's why it's black. So you can see it there. Just make sure that your speakers there are the Blackmagic Design HDMI. And that ensures that while your viewers are speaking on uh, Uber conference or whatever, that your viewers can hear them. And you know, for your communications with, with your people that are connected to your Uber conference, you wanna launch your Uber conference app on your smartphone or your tablet. You wanna use your AirPods or whatever earbuds to speak with your uh, with your live participants in real time. And again, that's all gonna be high behind the scenes as far as your viewers are concerned because your viewers are gonna hear your audio, you being the host, that's coming through your mic. So these will only be used and heard by you. So these will be used as a microphone to talk to your live guest. These will be used as a headphone to listen to your live guest in real time. That eliminates any possible lag that might exist. You know, you don't want to be talking to somebody. It gets it gets mucky. If if you're if you're using Uber Conference, you want to hear and talk to your guests using Uber Conference. Your YouTube viewers, they don't care where the audio is coming from because when all of this is coming out, your YouTube viewers are going to hear you, the host through your professional mic that's connected to your, in my case, primary camera. But for your, uh, for your guest, you're gonna hear your guest and your guests are gonna hear you because of the AirPods. And again, you gotta make sure that when you connect 
to your Uber conference that you're connecting from your smartphone or your uh, or your tablet. But again, Uber conference is still going to be running on your computer, which is using, in this case, HDMI 2 on the ATM Mini Pro. So all that that's functioning as is, number one, a way for your YouTube channel or Facebook Live guest to see all of your participants face on video. And then number two, to hear all of your participants face on video. So that's all that's doing. And my camera here, camera one, that's so the guest on YouTube or Facebook Live can hear me face on videos, but that's coming through this. And all that I'm using this for with my smartphone is to hear and for guests to for guests to hear me and me to hear the guest. This is how we're communicating through Uber Conference on the back end. So it may seem a little bit more confusing than you thought, but try this. Tell me what you think. Does this work for you? Check out my live streams and you can see this in action. I tried to make the explanation as simplistic as possible, but this is a very comp. It seems very complicated, and, and in all reality, until you've done it for a few times, you're probably going to find it to be complicated as well. And this was the product of, uh, you know, of an hour or so of troubleshooting. It's like, hmm, I'm so close to incorporating live guests within my uh, Blackmagic ATM Mini Pro live stream, but how do I get... Because see what I was doing originally, I would have the volume up... <laughs> on my uh, smart TV over there and I could hear everything. And that's not great. You don't want to hear an echo and listen to somebody through that. You want it to all be in your ear in real time. So that's why I engineered this workflow that you know eliminates all the background noise, the echo, and enables you to have real time uh, voice with your, with your, uh, you know, your Ubuntu guest but for the audience to hear just, you know, your professional mic audio, just like you use for your live stream with the addition of your guest face on video with their audio. So tell me what you think within the comment section below. And again, expand this video's description and then click the link, click the link there and you can find the ATM Mini Pro like I use all the cabling and even the smart TV that I use over there. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.